Hello, welcome to Plant-Based Palace. Today I'll be showing you all how to make plant-based waffles. These waffles are one of my go-to recipes for a breakfast because they come together in under 10 minutes and they can be dressed up however you prefer. This one is topped with vegan butter and maple syrup. Sometimes I top them off with berries or even a toffee syrup. These waffles even taste great after reheating and can be stored in the freezer for up to two months. Let's get started on the recipe. The first steps are to create the flax egg and vegan buttermilk so they can set up while we get everything else ready. First, we're going to combine two tablespoons of ground flaxseed meal with five tablespoons of warm water in a cup. I prefer using warm water over room temperature water because it helps speed up the flaxseed meal coagulating process. This combination is equivalent to about two eggs. Next, we'll measure two cups of dairy-free milk. I like to use Silk Brand Nut Milk because it's the only one I've found to have low sugar and high protein, but you can use whatever dairy-free milk you want. Next, add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and mix well. The vinegar will curdle the nut milk and help it thicken. The acid will also react with some of the dry ingredients to help create a fluffy waffle interior. For the dry ingredients, we want to get a mixing bowl and put in two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk all the ingredients together to make a homogeneous mixture. To save on dirty dishes, I mix all the wet ingredients directly into the flour mixture. I start with adding the vegan buttermilk that we made earlier. Next, I add in one third cup canola oil, the flax egg mixture, one teaspoon vanilla extract, 1 4th teaspoon almond extract, and 3 drops of imitation butter extract. The almond extract and imitation butter extract are optional, but highly recommended. They really elevate the waffle experience. Mix all the ingredients together and let the mixture sit for about 5 minutes. Use this time to make sure the waffle maker is hot and ready to go. I kept these waffles simple, but I usually love adding blueberries to mine. Other ways to elevate the waffles is to add chocolate chips, nuts, or even other berries. Keep mixing the batter until it is smooth and forms a ribbon when drizzled back into the bowl, like this. Once the waffle maker is hot, add in batter until it's full. My waffle maker takes about one cup of batter. If you're worried about your waffle maker sticking, then use cooking spray and use it lightly. Once the batter is in, I like to spread it around so it gets into all the nooks and crannies. I'm using a Belgian waffle maker because it produces a tall and fluffy waffle. With my Belgian waffle maker, I have to flip it over once the batter is in, and then once it's ready, I flip it back to where it started and take my waffle out. To take the waffle out, I use chopsticks because I'm using a non-stick pan and I don't want to scratch it up. So these chopsticks help me get inside the crevices of the waffle and pull it out, and then I put it on a sheet tray so I can save it for later. I put the waffles on a sheet tray until I'm ready to eat them. I normally eat one for breakfast, so I'll cook the rest of the waffles and store them in the freezer. I store these waffles in freezer safe bags and the waffles last about two months in the freezer. If the waffles are being made for a larger crowd, I'll place them on a sheet tray and then place them in a 200 degree oven until ready to eat. I top this waffle with homemade vegan butter and maple syrup, but like I said before, you can top these with whatever you like or even eat them plain. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy these waffles as much as I do.